Ericsson, is a Swedish multinational networking and telecommunications company headquartered in Stockholm. The company was founded in 1876 by Lars Magnus Ericsson. In 1876, at the age of 30, he started a telegraph repair shop with help from his friend Carl Johan Andersen in central Stockholm and repaired foreign-made telephones. In 1878, Ericsson began making and selling his own telephone equipment. We won't tell the full story of the company here, let us only note that the company grew and expanded and entered the international market. From the 1980s to 2001, Ericsson produced mobile phones, the evolution of which we will show you in this video. C600 Roadcom Hotline 900 Pocket Hotline Pocket 1311 1989, NH72 was an evolution of Ericsson's first handheld mobile phone, the Hotline Pocket. The phone supported NMT network technology. This influenced its name, with the N standing for NMT and the H indicating it was a handheld product. EH72, AH72. 1990, NH-97 EH-97 the codename for this device, Sandra, was the name of the daughter of Jan Johansson who led Ericsson's microchip strategy. GH-172 GH-174 GM-120 1993 AH97 2 DH197 2 DH198 GH197 GF197 EH237 was a watershed design for Ericsson and became the platform many future Ericsson products were based on. The phone was a huge hit for Ericsson and by 1995 it had sold over 1 million units. GH198 GF198 1994 NH99 NH237 AH210 AH220 AH230 AH237 AH-238 AH-300 AH-310 TSFGE DH-318 DH-336 LX-77 GH218 
GH337, it had an alphanumeric display of 3 by 12 characters with X icons and could receive but not send SMS text messages. GF337 GS337 G0188 1995 NH238 EH238 AH320 DH338 US device for the CDMA network LX100 GO118 PH337 CH337 CF337 TH337 1996 FH212 AH600 an Ericsson phone designed for use in the North American market on the AMPS800 network AH 618 AH 620 AH 628 AH 630 DH 368 was a dual mode TDMA mobile phone for the North American market DH 368 VI an unreleased prototype variant of the Ericsson DH 368 which had a camouflage case and a swivel antenna DF388 DF388 VI PD328 GA318 was an evolution of the highly successful Ericsson GA337 with a twist. It was redesigned to be a more consumer-friendly and more affordable device with a colored fascia and smoother edges. The earpiece design was also simplified. The GA318 was an all-plastic device. GH388 GF388 The phone is a D2 Privat branded variant which was sold in the German market. GH398 PH388 CH388 CF388 CA318 CA638 1997 EF738 AF738 AF778 was a compact phone designed for use on AMPS 800 in the US, more commonly known as TDMA technology. PD398 KH618 was a North American version of the Ericsson GA628. It also featured interchangeable keypad covers. KH668 KF-688 US variant of the Ericsson GH-688 LX-677 LX-700 LX-788 GA628 is an historically important device as it was the first phone that offered four interchangeable color panels blue, green, red and yellow. These were included in the box with the phone that could be slotted in around the keypad. GH688 GS18 was a rebranded version of the Orbital 907 Data. GF788 GF788E GF768 Its screen could display 1 by 10 characters with fixed icons. The phone book could store up to 50 telephone numbers. PF768 was supplied to the UK's 121 network. CF688 CF788 CF768 TH688 ER500 1998 DH618 DH668 DF688 KF788 LX588 ER205 
CH668. CF888. SH888. S868. I888 World. NTT Docomo ER205. SH868. Nineteen ninety nine, a twelve twenty eight DS, a twelve twenty eight DSI, a twelve twenty eight D, T eighteen DS, T eighteen DSI, T eighteen D was one of the most compact devices on the market. It had a number of other features, including the built in silent vibe capability, which could discreetly notify users of incoming calls. T18 LX, T19 LX, ER207, T18Z, T28S was ultra small flip phone, the flip plate was activated by a push button on the right hand side of the phone. A 1018S was launched as a phone for people who require affordable communications for every occasion. R250S Pro, it was equipped with Cortex membranes and rubber gaskets to protect against water and dust. It also had a sturdy magnesium frame and rubber molding which could withstand harsh treatment. T18S, T10S, T28 World. R290 Satellite was a dual-mode satellite and GSM 900 MHz mobile phone. 2000. A 1228DI. R250D Pro R278D R280D The phone combined a tri-mode TDMA phone with a CDPD modem offering always on wireless internet. R280DI A 1228LX R280LX was designed specifically for US carrier AT&T. R289LX a 1228C was Ericsson's first CDMA phone. It was a WAP-enabled device offering rudimentary internet access. ER209i. R380S was the first GSM phone to use the EPOC32 operating system, Release 5. Originally developed for the Psyon Series 5 of PDAs, Epoch evolved into the Symbian operating system which was widely used on numerous smartphones. R320S. A 1028S. A 1028SC. A 2618S was as a replacement for the very popular A1018S. R310S, the phone was water, dust, and shock resistant and was built around a solid magnesium frame. T20S. R380 World. R190 Satellite. T36. Two thousand one T sixty DS T eighteen DI R three hundred D T sixty D R three hundred LX T sixty LX R three hundred C T60C, it was notable for having a five-way joystick button that Ericsson believed made navigation easy, quick and intuitive. A 2218Z, R300Z, a 2628SA member of Ericsson's A-class family of phones, was introduced at the Telecom Asia Fair in Hong Kong. A 2628SC, T29S, R380E, T20E, A 3618. A 2638SC. R600. The R600's biggest claim to fame was a brief appearance in the James Bond film Casino Royale. T65. The phone was the beginning of a new wave of devices that allowed users to personalize their device with images and sounds. R520M. It was the world's first GPRS phone with Bluetooth. R520MC. T39M. 
T66 was the smaller mobile phone that had ever been made by Ericsson. The company described it as roughly the same length and width as a credit card. T68 was the last phone marketed using the Ericsson brand. It was first Ericsson phone to have a color display. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Like and subscribe to the channel.